another in a long list of loyal admirers. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Doesn't everybody? No, no, you don't understand. I want you to be a guest on our school's brand new cable TV show. TV? Well, what are we talking? Three cameras set up? Just how many cameras will you be using to photograph my stunning beak? Well, oh, we only have one camera, but... One camera? Why, my tail alone would require ten. Ah, uh, Hey, that's it. Uh, okay, looks like I'm just gonna have to get an erg as my first guest. Yep, the erg's face will be in millions of homes all across possible land. Millions? When do we start taping? Just point me to my trailer. All right, is my crew ready? Radically ready! <laughs> Are you ready, Mr. Possible Parrot? Oh, no. I shall require more colorful lighting to pick out the subtle textures of my feathers. I know! Huh? Ah. Uh... Now are you satisfied? Yes. Except for one problem. What? I want the camera focused on me at all times. What about me? I'm the host. <laughs> Quaint. But I'm the stunning star. Listen, either you share the stage with me or you're off the show. <laughs> that suits me just fine. I had a feather fluffing appointment anyway. Twinkle? It's only a few minutes until showtime, and I don't have a guest. Yahoo! Ergo have big idea. What is it, Ergo? This. <laughs> me possible parrot. Me living rainforest. Me. 
Yikes! <laughs> Meet camera shot. <laughs> Twinkle, you're my last hope. I wish you could save my show. Saving shows is our super stellar specialty. Talent show, introduce our host. Oh, yeah! And now, here he is, the host of your show. Here's Squirk! <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're all beautiful. Huh? Hmm, may not see anything yet. You might just get a better shot that way. Oh. Whoa! I don't make Mary go round! Hey, Ergo, stop playing around! Just introduce your first guest. Uh, uh, anyway, my first guest is the galaxy's coolest environmental expert, Twinkle the Dream Bee! Galactic greetings, everybody! Did you know that the rainforest trees provide much of the oxygen we breathe? You see, that's why we must preserve the rainforest. Me going for close-up. Uh-oh! Oh! Yo. oh. <laughs> 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 no, Argo! Move the camera away! Oh, no! No, Argo! Not there! No! Not that way! Argo! Hi. I'm ruined! 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 Uh, and now, I'd like to introduce... Yikes! Me use foot power! Conserve energy! Yeah, you sure are, Erg. And now, Forest Facts from Nova! Did you know that a rainforest has at least 100 inches of rainfall every year? Oh, oh well. <laughs> You see, Squirk? Everything is working out just fine. The audience is having fun and learning about important issues. <laughs> <laughs> the things I do to have the funniest educational show on the air. See, Squirk? Education and entertainment can go galactically great together. <laughs> hey, kids. I'll be back after these messages. Now, back to more dream adventures with me, Twinkle! Isn't this great? Our first camp out in the rainforest! Why it called rainforest? It not rain. Me and my big mouth. Okay, kids. Who else wants to tell a story? Ooh, 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 ooh. You have a story, Ergo? No, me sit on sharp rock. Ooh, ooh. I have a story. It's about the spirit of the forest. You see, the spirit of the forest is a great being who protects the forest environment. Without this great spirit, the forest would... Argo, what are you doing? Me get close up to hear every word. Well, don't. Now, as I was saying, the spirit of the forest... <laughs> Sorry, it's been more than five minutes since I last ate. <laughs> As I was saying, the spirit of the forest is... How long before we reach the forest planet, clean and green? 
Well, what do you mean, four interstellar hours? We usually make it in two. You're right, Nova. Traveling at half speed does help save fuel energy and cut down pollution. Whoa, this is galactically great! I have the whole tent to myself. Say hello to tent partner. Oh, <laughs> and who was the cosmic clown who assigned you to my tent? Your Scoutmaster Daddy-O. Oh. Ergo, get good night's sleep. <laughs> good idea. I'm getting up bright and early tomorrow to look for the spirit of the forest. Ergo, go too? No, Ergo, too much trouble. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, you can go. Just turn off the tear. <laughs> all right. Yes! Oh, good, good, good. Huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, how many thank yous was that? Uh, three. Me still have two more. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, Ergo, put me down. No, Ergo, put me up, put me up! Huh? No, no! Sheesh. <laughs> food for my possible scout troop. We thought we were looking for spirit of <laughs> uh, uh, Ergo means doing the food gathering shows we have scout spirit. How much further before we find spirit of forest? Well, according to the map, we have to find Jaguar Rock and travel 20 paces to the right. <laughs> Ergo find Jaguar Rock! So have I. Now we take 20 paces to find Spirit of Forest. One, two, uh... Wait, wait, let uh, me know this one. The next number is three! Me know! Next number is three. Three, uh... Hmm, this gives moi an idea. 19, uh, can you give me clue? 20! 20, hmm, yeah. Uh, can you give me another clue? No, no, that's the next number, 20! The spirit of the forest must live in that grove. Yay! Erga Mundo! <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, great spirit of the forest, we've come to greet you and learn from you. Enter the grove, and you shall learn much. All right! No! So you fools fell into my trap! <laughs> Shooting stars! Clean and green is more beautiful than I thought. Well, everything looks okay in quadrant three. Help! Cancel our vacation, Nova. Sounds like our friend Squirk needs us quick as a comet. Remember, Nova, half speed. Faster, you fools! You're in training to be my new servants. <laughs> Help! Help! Twinkle! Twinkle! Yelling will do you no good. That dream being bug can't hear you from here. Mind if we join the party? Huh? What? You're toast, Twinkle. I'll turn you all into tree toads for this! Super stellar, Twinkle! What were you two doing way out here in Grissom Grove anyway? Looking for the legendary spirit of the forest, but I... 
I guess there's no such thing. Of course there is. It's inside every one of us. It means going to great lengths to care for and respect nature. Looks like Dima's going to be going to great lengths, too. <laughs> you dreadful drip of a dream being! Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh! 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 Yeah! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Adventures after these messages. And now, back to me, Twinkle the Dream Being. Ah, oh, this is terrible. I have a dumb book report due tomorrow, and is it interesting? No, it's about... Insects of the rainforest. Who cares about dumb old bugs anyway? Hmm. Huh, I know. I'll call my teacher and give him an excuse that'll get me out of the report. Yes, that's right, sir. I feel a real bad cold coming on. <coughs> so I won't be able to do the book report, <coughs> even though I'd really like to. I'll need a note from my doctor? Uh, well, uh, hey, guess what, sir? I'm suddenly feeling a lot better. Uh, don't worry about a thing, sir. I'll have that book report in right on time. Uh, goodbye. I can't think of a thing to write. Super stellar job, Nova. Those art lessons really paid off. <laughs> Twinkle, I wish you'd do my book report for me. Time to make stardust, Nova. Our friend Squirt needs to be pointed in the right direction. Uh, speaking of directions, Nova, you're going in the wrong one. We can't do the report for you, Squirk. That would be cheating. Great. But we can give you a first-hand education. Uh, yeah? You'll be part of a whole new world, the insect world. And you're going to need this. It's an electro-insect identifier, Rainforest Edition. Just point it at any insect, and it'll tell you all about it. Mega starific! With this identifier and this video camera, I'll get all the information I need. But remember, be cosmically careful. Oh, I'm always careful. <laughs> Ready. Well then, here goes nothing. Oh, huh? What's wrong? All this rainforest moisture must have dampened my dusters. There. Oh, that's better. <laughs> What's the big idea? You mean small idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off to see what I can see. Remember, you have one hour. So far, I haven't seen even one bug. <gasps> Cosmically cool. Time to learn more about that bee. You are so wild. It says the bee goes from flower to flower, gathering pollen to make honey. Hope he doesn't mind if I ride along for a first-hand look. Whoa! Wow! I wonder what kind of ant that is. 
cool. It's a workaround. And it can carry 60 times its own weight. Boy, that would be like me lifting two ergs. Wow, they sure do work hard. Might as well help out if I'm going to make friends. Ready to enlarge? Aw, oh, Twink, can't I stay longer? I never realized the insect world was so interesting. You can come back another time, Squirk. Remember, you still have to get your school report written. My what? Oh, yeah. So long. I'll be back real soon. And the pollen sticks to the spiky part of the bee's leg so he can carry it to his hive. But the best part was when I actually rode on a bee. Well, Squirk, you get an A for knowledge. But riding on a bee, that, that's getting a bit carried away, you know. I'll show you. Looks like somebody left a lens cap on his video camera. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Correction, Squirk. You get an A plus. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Nova? Everything worked out galactically great. Great? Squirk left the lens cap on. Now the world will never get to see all those great shots of me. Ha, 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 